hey do you need a bunch of cards and you want to make them yourself but you don't have a whole lot of time in this video i'm going to show you how you can do it hi there it's amanda here welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make eight cards or more really quickly and really easily also, if you don't have all the tools, don't worry. I'm going to be giving you alternatives throughout the video so you can make this too. Are you ready? Let's see how to make these cards. Here are the supplies that we are going to be using today. This is watercolor cardstock. It measures nine by 12 inches. For coloring, I'm going to be using distress inks and you can use the pads or you can use the re-inkers. I will be using the re-inkers because they are very intense in terms of color, but if you don't have any of this, you can also use watercolors, no problem. Just make sure that your color is very intense when you bring it to the surface where you're going to be working. I'm going to be using this die cut that says thank you, but if you don't have a die cutting machine, here are three alternatives. One, use alphabet stickers. Two, buy sentiments on Etsy that are already pre-cut for you. A lot of people sell them in little packages and they are really affordable. Three, ask a friend. Maybe somebody you know have a die cutting machine and can die cut a few of these sentiments for you. I'm also going to be using this heat gun, but if you don't have one, you can just use your hair dryer for this technique. And I'm going to be using this mat that is non-stick and heat resistant. You can find one of these anywhere, it's a craft mat. This one is by Tonic Studios. But if you don't have one, don't worry, you can just use a surface that won't absorb water. So let's get started with the technique. This is called the smooching technique. Why? Because you're going to be smooching your cardstock onto the surface where you're working now and applying the color. And you're going to keep doing that until you're happy with the result. Now, as you can see, I'm applying the re-inkers. And if you don't have them, you can simply use the pad like that. Then I'm going to be adding some water to get the colors moving. But those re-inkers don't move that much because they're really intense. So I'm going to be using a brush to move the color a little bit more. And this is more or less how it looks like the first time you apply the color. Now you're going to apply color again, but first you need to dry your cardstock very well. Then you can use the remaining color you have on your surface. You can remove those colors and add new ones. You can add different colors than the ones you were using until now. The idea is to play and create a watercolor background that you are happy with. Now I know that it looks like this is a mess and it is not going to be really nice but trust me at the end it is going to be nice and it is going to look really well when you use it on your card for example here i decided i wanted to add some purple in the middle so i'm going to play with that just make sure that the colors you're using work well together you can practice before on a small piece of cardstock and if you're sure that they work well together just keep playing until you're happy with the result So this is how my panel looks like. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn the camera back on and I decided to create a second panel for you to see how to cut it. I used this color palette and as you can see, you can use any colors that you like. Now, a key factor when it comes to making quicker cards, make smaller card bases. So you can see the standard one to the right and the one I'm going to use to the left is smaller and we're going to make eight of those with, with just one panel that is nine by 12 inches. 
So we're going to cut it at 418 by 3 inches and that way we're going to get 8 backgrounds for our cards. Here you have all the backgrounds I have ready for my cards. You could simply add the sentiment and the card will be already great. But if you want to step up the game a little bit, we're going to use a couple more things. First, a stencil to add a bit of interest to the background. Stencils are really versatile when it comes to techniques and they are very affordable, like under 5 euros. So if you don't have any, I highly recommend getting at least one. Not to make this video too long, I'm going to make only 5 cards right now, but in the pictures you can see that I made many more. Now, because I really like stitch borders, I'm going to use this die, but you don't really need to use anything. If you also want to add this kind of border and you don't have a die, like this one, you can use a white gel pen. And there you go, a bunch of cards that you can make really quickly and still look amazing, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite quick and easy technique that you use for your cards. Have a great day and see you again soon! Thank you so much for watching, here are a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!